Hello, welcome back to a new video. I am here, Ooh, that's a lot of light. I'm here in New York City. I was just hanging in my hotel room and I was like, you know what? I'm going to film a q and I feel we have so much stuff to chat up, chat up chat about and catch up um in one word that didn't work but yeah i am here look it you can't see it but it is absolutely freezing outside like so cold and i'm not trying to complain i am so happy to be in new york but it just means that walking around new york city what i normally do it's just like not really bearable so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna work and hang out out of the hotel room it's really cute here it's like the arlo and this is their suite so this is their, I hope this is not focusing. This is like their little living room. And then in there is like the bedroom, but it is really, really nice. The sun is almost going under right now, but we have time for a quick Q&A. Okay, um, let me see. Tripod, I also, where's my light? Guys, ever since I got this giant light, did you see me in my vlogs? I feel, I feel I've been upgrading. I've been upgrading my vlog life. Let's see if this helps a little. There we go. Now you guys can see me. Sorry, I'm like really struggling with my tripod today. Urgh. Okay. Sorry, I got really distracted. I asked some questions on, um, on Instagram, so I thought, let's just go through it and have a little bit of a chat. So, Justine asks, how do you feel? I think that is a great question to start off with. And I feel I'm always like really transparent with all of you, kind of how I'm feeling, like through what kind of emotions I'm going, like the ups and the downs, or at least I'm like trying to show both. Recently, I've been feeling really good. I feel 2023, I feel I've been able to breathe. I feel I've been able to really kind of flow. As I said, I wake up a little bit later. I have two people, Elin and Sophie, helping me with work, which is amazing. I feel I'm having more of a team so I can like start handing off work. So not everything like falls on me. Yeah, I don't know. Mike and I have been really good. We've been really exciting for the wedding. So, I don't know. I feel it's sometimes always easy to like recognize the, you know, negative things. But I think it's also really important to embrace when things are going really well. So, yeah. I don't know. Do I have chocolate? I just ate like one of those cho cho um, chocolate bars. Um, okay, what advice would you give to someone with a bad relationship with Food. okay this is a tough one because for everyone you know there's a different reason why there is a bad relationship with food often i feel the actual root cause is not exactly has to do with food it's often an other underlining reason where it's maybe insecurity maybe it's like emotional uh maybe it is like being like really really strict health issues something what like I don't know, what I've always found really important is to really see food as a fuel for your body. Like your body needs nutrients to actually function for your mood, for energy, which is a really big one, for your hair, for your skin. And really kind of like embracing that. I would also say someone has a bad relationship to food is to nothing to nothing in extremes. I know there's so many different diets and lifestyles out there. Honestly, there is no like good or bad in my opinion. I feel it's very bio-individual for everyone works something else, but I do think anything in extremes can actually increase a bad relationship with food. I feel really finding balance, finding that I don't know, 80% healthy, 20% just you know intuitive eating we talk about it all the time and i actually might want to do a video about this because i feel intuitive eating so many people have a hard time doing that but yeah i really think like nothing in real extremes how do you choose the brands you partner with um so often brands reach out to me or if i really love a brand like i will reach out to them but i always make sure i love the product i will never ever promote or like share anything with all of you or with my friends that i am not 100 percent behind or believe in and i think this is so important because i've seen so many influencers you know or creators just like 
taking a big check over you know the things they're like actually authentically love honestly this is also a tip i want to give anyone who wants to be a creator or everyone anyone is a creator to be super super selective because that is so much better for the long run um how often do we snack between meals um i snack a lot actually i love snacks <laughs> and also i feel like because i'm working from home like yeah, the amount of times you just walk over to the fridge because you just gotta not bored but you just want to snack um i would say at least like three times a day but um sometimes you have just veggies with hummus i also love like midday squares some chocolate some nuts all of that stuff how do you balance all your different businesses? Okay, I want to talk about this because I am really in the process of learning how to balance that. Last year, I really had to start to learn how to do that because what I would do if I had like different projects or different businesses, I would push all my attention to one and then the other ones just a little. I had a hard time. I would like just focus on one thing, even though it's better to just do everything kind of gradually. So one tool that really, really helped me is just blocking off time. So I would in my calendar just be like, okay, this morning I'm going to work on Nekohama. My phone is on non disturb This afternoon I'm going to work on Soul Sing Body and actually also creating a system where we're like, okay, on Tuesdays I work on Soul Sing Body. On Mondays I work on my calls in Nekohama. On Wednesdays I shoot content. Just really planning it out. That has helped a lot and also really sticking to it. Like I before I used to be like, oh yeah, I can take that meeting like let's just squeeze it in i don't do that anymore i am really protecting like my energy i hate myself my energy aura but also my time schedule so if in that time you know someone wants to squeeze something in or whatever i'm like no sorry i need to focus on this project because before i would just like throughout today just bounce from like business to creative from nekohama to soul sync not i do not recommend that even if you're just running your own business or if you're in if your work or whatever you can even do that within one business but really time blocking helped a lot for me how did you build the confidence to be teaching pilates in front of so many people you were great oh first of all really sweet second i've been really you know doing more like in person kind of events and stuff and i really want to do more of these it's definitely one of my goals i'm gonna be honest sometimes it always looks like oh you don't have any fear just do it and i'm like yeah but i am definitely really nervous even maybe it doesn't show always like that like i walked into the room and there were so many people and they put me on the stage and like i don't know as soon as there's like a mic i just find it so much scarier like talking in front of my camera with you is just like so much more comfortable i feel it's more intimate but as soon the mic goes on i'm like oh my god i'm getting nervous but it was great i also really feel like things that make you uncomfortable sometimes you really need to do to in order to grow so like i'm whenever i feel something really uncomfortable I'm like yeah personal growth here let's see tips on fillers and botox have you done worked on um so i have not done any fillers or botox a lot of my friends have and i honestly am really not against it i was actually like thinking maybe to do, do at one point like a little bit of botox i know like all of you are like oh my god your skin is always so perfect but yes i have makeup on and we have a camera which i guess also smooths it out a little bit and good lighting so maybe just like a little bit pre preventive because what i do i never wear my glasses which or I do it during driving and stuff, but not enough. So when I can't see on the street, I'm like this all the time. So I'm getting wrinkles here. Right, welcome to New York. Perfect, Emma is just gone. So yeah, I'm really not against it. And I would, I think, totally try it. But I would do it very naturally. And I would do, like, or not naturally, like, very minimal. And I would really do my research in a place that I really like. Or a recommendation from someone who I think really does it well. So um you know i will keep you posted um how to get your period back without gaining weight oh this is so tricky because honestly it is really hard to do that if the reason for your period loss is you know being on the weight or not having enough fat it could also be stress but yeah it is a hard one but at the end you really have to think about your body and how freaking grateful you need to be for a healthy and a functioning body so if it means like i i had to go through that process like you know when i lost my period when i was like full on modeling i couldn't really like gain weight because i was doing shows and stuff and like the doctor was just like yeah you should just gain weight 
that's it i don't know it took me like a year or so that i was like oh i can blah 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 but at one point i was like you know what health is your wealth so i was like okay what is more important like a modeling career and maybe money and whatever or a body that is healthy and is actually like functioning and i was like i deserve that so i don't know i had to gain a little bit of weight but very gradual honestly you know you don't have to immediately gain like 20 pounds or whatever but sometimes already a little bit making lifestyle changes like swapping a lot of like hit workouts and cardio workouts for more low impact pilates that worked for me um way less stress so taking time off being kind to yourself eating more carbs eating more fats helped a lot so yeah okay my in-depth supplement list okay i am consistent with a few things and then some things i am just not as consistent with and i really want to try to be more consistent but i'm going to give you a list of supplements i take so i am very consistent with taking my athletic greens which is gut health multi vitamins and minerals then my seed pre and probiotic they're very focused on gut health so that one those two i actually take every day i am back on my hair care routine with neutrophil because i really want my hair to feel thick again it's looking very healthy right now which i'm very happy about so i take my neutrophil then i sometimes take magnesium if i feel i really want to relax my body before going to bed and then i take my vitamin d3 and sometimes i take these from js health these are the skin and digestion i believe the digestion ones i take sometimes if i feel my stomach is just kind of off i actually really want to start doing more regularly like blood panels because that's actually where you see like what kind of vitamins your body is like lacking and i think it's important to do that because how can you take vitamins if you don't even know like what you're lacking of so that's what i'm going to do soon what do you think about detox cures i am not about it I'm just not. When I see people going on juice cleanses, that is an example of going into extreme. I feel it's so hard to like hold on to that. I feel once you finish it, you just bounce back. I feel it's just like not like on the road of how being a healthy relationship with food. I feel any type of detox cleanses, whatever, is just like not, I don't know. It's not for me. Some people do really love their like juice cleanses from time to time. I completely respect that, but I, I don't know. It's not for me. Do you concentrate your diet on hormonal balance and sync with your cycle? So I'm already really happy that I got my period back and unfortunately it's not completely like regular. So I use Flow app, but it's really hard for me to like track, you know, on which days I'm gonna get my period. It's kind of like every time a surprise. Sometimes it's a couple weeks in between, sometimes like three weeks, sometimes four or five. I'm not 100% there yet, but i am reading a lot about like cycle like sinking and diet i do always make sure when i'm on my period to eat tons of healthy fats like avocado salmon and i also crave meat like i crave iron i feel it gives me energy when i'm on my period and obviously i treat myself with like some chocolate and stuff because because i feel bad for myself but um this is something i definitely want to start exploring and i don't know if you guys are interested in that but it's maybe something i want to start building out on sourcing body as well if you have a regular period you can actually like really sync that and really get the most energy out of your body i think that will be freaking amazing let's see um, do i use birth control so i actually don't use any birth control i used to have a copper iud but at one point i took it out because i could really feel it during sex like it was really bothering also my periods became so heavy like really with a lot of blood i don't want to go into little details so i was at one point i was like i just want to take it out i just want to feel my body without anything i never reacted well on anything with hormones in it like the pill iud with hormones i'm like no so now i don't have anything which i don't know if you know i can recommend to everyone um but yeah just gotta do it safe and you just gotta kind of track it um but yeah i just feel that is at this point like just better for my body i just do not like birth controls but I do have to say i'm also in this time like i'm not thinking about kids at all like really not at all but like if it would happen like i would be really happy with it if that makes sense so i do think that is very important to consider like 
if you're using birth control yes or no that potentially if you will get pregnant if that's you know there is a chance um how far are you with wedding planning well it's getting real i feel i got the venue got the dress which i'm gonna share in another video i'm working now on music on like food and everything but I don't know i've gone through like phases where i was like okay where is it gonna get stressful whatever and everyone was like just wait when the budget and family comes in play and all of that it just like adds up with like planning a wedding like holy i never thought about that like how much actually goes into planning a wedding but so far it's going really well i'm trying really not to stress as much because at the end like we are in italy the location is going to be stunning regardless like this flower or this flower like it's literally not gonna matter at the end of the day the food i think whatever we're choosing it's gonna be amazing as long as the music is good we have our friends and family there i feel what can go wrong maybe it was rains but even then i have a wedding planner in italy which i highly recommend which has been so helpful i honestly could not do it without her like we're just like texting every day whatever but i feel like i'm now a chill bride and i hope i'm gonna stay a chill bride I'm just looking for like really cute like a par white party outfit and I kind of have a very simple dress like wedding dress so I'm like okay I kind of want to go a little more crazy for that so if you have any like really nice or upcoming brands and maybe want to do like a younger designer or something then let me know um do you ever have guilt of rest days if so how do you cope no you really need to understand that your rest days are actually as important as the days that you're training or that you're working out this is really important for your body to take a rest and i actually really noticed that when i do the next day that i go train or do stuff that i actually have way more energy and it is i don't know what would you rather do like seven like kind of uh, workouts just because your body's tired of like five really intentional ones where you feel energized and you actually can put all the work in during the rest period your body is recovering and i think that is really important so i do always try to get some type of movement whether that is walking or like a hike or like just stretching like i need to move my body but you can totally do that on a rest day and that's completely fine when sourcing body websites will turn into an app oh my god i've been I've been working on this for so long. The developers are working really hard right now to get this up and running. Um, I hope soon. I really hope soon. You can follow us on like Instagram and then obviously you will be like the first one to know. Sign up for our email list. Yeah, I'm so excited for the app. It's going to be a whole game changer because you will have all the recipes there, the futures, the workouts. It's going to make everything so much easier. I'm so excited. Um, do I miss runways? I sometimes miss like the glamour of everything you know like the dressing up and like the hair and being with creatives but honestly not really i definitely in the last few years i felt like the fashion industry was changing a lot the shows were messy it was like exhausting um all the like fashion weeks it was constant rejection like you would walk around and going to all these castings and then they would be like oh can you come back at like 10 p.m at night and then they were like oh you're bugged and then oh no you're cancelled and it just it's just such a mind the whole time and at one point i'm just like i do not feel it anymore Alrighty, i hope you guys enjoyed today's q a i'm so excited we're here actually for a nekohama pop-up we're doing the ad department for f so we're making vegan matcha chocolate which is so good and also a new product like look i was testing it out it's like matcha chocolate truffle something is really delicious but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's q a let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions for me i'm going to try to answer all of them and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i will see you in person oh we've been chatting for a while okay oh what's my light doing let's see i'm gonna come back up